Mm. Looking good, looking forward to Tiara. Mm. <laughs> Definitely. And now, mm -hmm. the boy band. Yes, Super Shuju. Junior. <laughs> Shuju, I like to call them. Suju, right? Shuju. right. Shuju. Shuju. And these guys are a sensation, and they really know how to just keep that drive going. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so this is their 10 year anniversary since their debut. So, it's definitely a lot of big things are planned. Another Super Show is in the works, as well as uh, their seventh album, Mamacita, just came out uh, not too long ago. So, we're going to be talking about their enduring popularity of the group and, of course, all the other side activities they've done as well. With the release of their seventh full-length album, Mamacita, on the first of this month, Super Junior has made a grand comeback after a lengthy hiatus of 26 months. What makes the seventh album even more special is the fact that all 13 members took part in production of the music video, the songs, choreography, and photography from the album. Back in 2005, unlike other idol groups, Super Junior was brought together with the goal of creating stars in all fields of entertainment. They put more emphasis on individual work and built the foundation for the culture of subunit groups to take off. The first two who won over popularity for the group with fans were Kim Hee-chul and Che Shi won Hee-chul was already known for his looks, likened to a character right out of an animation film before he debuted, but his skills as an all-rounded entertainer and his idiosyncratic personality further helped establish him as a star. There's also Shi Won, also most well known for his dashing looks and being the centerpiece on stage. And with his added charisma, he is also now an established actor. More recently, he has made headway into the Chinese film industry with the Hong Kong film Helios and Chinese movie Dragon Blade, starring Jackie Chan. Following his lead, other members have also been cast for Chinese TV dramas. The whimsical talent of Super Junior is led by the three members Shin Dong, Eun Hyuk, and Lee Tuk. Since their debut, these three have been on a plethora of entertainment shows, reaching out to the public and building a profile for the team. Capitalizing on this image, they also became the first idol group to create a trot subunit group. They were on a lot of different entertainment shows adding to the fun and they also host radio shows, so I think a lot of people were continually able to follow them. Following the bigger names of the group is Henry. He is a member of Super Junior's subunit group for China, Super Junior M, Ooh. and also a solo artist. His popularity has been skyrocketing in recent days. He recently brought home three awards from the Metro Radio Mandarin Music Awards, which is an annual event hosted by Hong Kong's Metro Broadcast Corporation for superstars in the TV and radio industry. He also won awards for the Most Popular Idol, Best Male Dance Singer, and Best Song. Those fans were yep. way too young. <laughs> Super Junior boasts a broad <laughs> fan base, starting with China and stretching out to Japan, South America, and Europe. So a lot of factors are thought to have contributed to this. They took classes to study other languages, and in the case of Super Junior M, they only focus on China, so fans are able to think of them as singers from their own country instead of being from a different country. Another reason for their popularity is their enthusiastic use of YouTube, following the explosive response to their track, Sorry Sorry, from their third album, and the ensuing wave of covers on YouTube. Their management agency, SM Entertainment, unveiled videos for the group, keeping the momentum alive with fans overseas. On the heels of this, the group went on overseas tours with their performance, Super Show. Each year, they have held concerts in all parts of the world, including China, South America, Europe, and the U.S., to get closer to their fans. Another driving force behind their decade-old streak of popularity is their strong team spirit.
축사 생활을 하고 있거든요 아직도 일부러 그렇게 해서라도 저희는 이제 살을 맞대고 얼굴 보고 식사라도 같이 하고 그러려고 생활을 하거든요 With their 10-year debut anniversary, Super Junior is redefining their legacy in Korea and abroad and laying down a new path of change for the years to come. You know, some of them are now in their early 30s, but they're still considered one of the most famous uh, K-pop idol group in Why Korea. Why does early 30s sound old? I mean, there's, 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 <laughs> I mean when you, when you're, when, I think when you're looking that's at the average age... age. That's that's not not okay. okay, when you're looking at the age average of, uh, age of, uh, of idols, you know, idols you know. in Korea, yes, but... I still wouldn't. They're super men. Yeah, super men. Let's not call them seniors. <laughs> <quite yet. laughs> but they're receiving a mm -hmm. lot of interest and popularity from um, the U.S. and other mm -hmm. Asian countries as well. I think when it comes with their, well, they've been around 10 years. So obviously mm -hmm. their fan base has uh, not only grown throughout that time, but also has maintained a uh, very strong, uh, I guess, support from their fans. And so uh, with their seventh album, they just uh, won the first place on the World Albums Chart 4 Billboard, as well as in Taiwan and KKBOX Top 100 Chart, which is the largest online music website in Taiwan, as well as the New Tides V Chart in China and Iki Weekly Chart. So they've been giving number one spot for Mamacita since its debut. You can see that their popularity is still going very, very strong. Oh yeah, they're huge. Um, I had a chance to cover one of their concerts overseas, and it's amazing that the fan response that they get. But um, a lot of the members, they've been away off for the mandatory military mm -hmm. service, and now they're back together as one. But at the same time, they're juggling individual duties sure. as well. So this is a very busy time for them. Uh, yeah, so uh, as we mentioned earlier, they were initially formed in the sense that they didn't want to just focus on the music industry. They wanted to expand out and do different things as well too. And so everyone has their own little niche in the industry. And so uh, as you mentioned earlier for Cheshi Won, uh, he's been going back and forth between China and Korea, mainly because of his movies and his drama career there too. Uh, more recently, there's actually a drama that he's going to be starring in, which is called uh, The Billion Dollar Heir. And that's going to be also with a very famous uh, Chinese Chinese actress. And then uh, when it comes to musicals, a couple of members are also there too. So uh, Yeouk and uh, Kyu Hyun, they are both mm -hmm. working on musicals right now. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is going to be opening in uh, Japan on the 20th, and the other one is kind of a more of a minor role, but uh, still it's uh, just kind of his foray into the musical world. Then we have uh, subunits when it comes to Eun Hyuk and uh, Dong Hyun, right? And so they have been uh, working on those individually. And it's so hard to, there's 13 members, so it's kind of hard to go through all this. Keep track of them. Yeah, and so uh, Kang In and Shin Dong. Kang In just recently came off of his military service, and Shin Dong, of course, uh, you know, we mentioned their popularity with variety shows as well, too. So they're going to be working on uh, that side of the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. Good job, Denny. Wow. <laughs> wow. Ooh. 13 members. How about uh, Super Junior um, M? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking this M stands for Mandarin, they but it's just a shot in, in the China. dark. Well, but... they uh, formed back in 2008, and they are mainly focused on performing in mainland China and so for that sense uh, they are more of a local group although they do work back and forth and uh, more recently they're gonna be part of a show called Guest House and mm -hmm. this one's interesting because the member Super Junior M as well as 10 of their fans are gonna be touring Korea and just hanging out and this will all be filmed and uh, for the applicants who wanted to be a part of the show, they sent in a video for their application. And within three weeks, 100 million people, 100 million? million people sent in their application <laughs> to be part of the show. 100 million. Million people. How are wow. you going to sift through no all that? I don't me. know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, right, so what, amazing. Craziness. what does uh, Super Junior have in plan for the time being now? Well, obviously, they just came out with their album and it's doing very well. And as part of their anniversary, and every year they've been doing a tour. The Super Show. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the newest iteration of it. It'll be opening on the 20th, so it's only a week away, but uh, they will be focusing on promoting their album here in Korea as well as doing the tour overseas. So for all the fans out there who haven't seen them recently, well, look out. They'll be coming someplace near you, possibly. All right. <laughs> all right. Sounds That's great. great well, thank, you, thank you, Denny, for that. No problem. All right, so for fans of Super Junior, did they make it on the top five charts? Well, I'll break Mama it to you Sita. right now. Not just yet, but we'll take a look at what's hot.